Hello and welcome to another dental video. You're with me, Dr. Manav Kalra, and today we're talking about the triple tray impression technique. It's a relatively easy method to make accurate impressions for one or two units for crowns and other indirect restorations. As the name suggests, triple tray, it does three things and it does them simultaneously. First, it takes the impression of the prepared tooth structure and the neighboring teeth. Second, it takes the impression of the opposing dentition. And third, the bite registration. So let's get right into it. The first and most important step is to evaluate the patient's present occlusion in maximum intercuspation. Have the patient bite firmly in this position with the tray in the mouth. Rehearsal of closure into maximum intercuspation is recommended before making the actual impression. Center the teeth in a buccolingual direction between the walls of the tray. Ensure that the bar connecting the buccal and lingual walls of the tray is distal to the most posterior tooth and that it is not impinging on the tuberosity or the retromolar pad. Next, we remove the tray from the mouth and apply tray adhesive since mechanical retention on a triple tray will not be sufficient. Notice that I am placing the adhesive only on the walls of the tray and not on the mesh because we want the material to be expressed through this mesh. This adds retention and may even improve accuracy. Once the solvent in the adhesive has evaporated, we are ready to make the impression. Here, I am using a micro tip attached to the Automix gun to express the light body material around the preparation, making sure to record the margins and prevent formation of air bubbles. Meanwhile, my assistant is loading the triple tray with putty consistency addition silicon rubber base material. Now the loaded tray is placed in the correct position over the preparation and the patient is asked to close over it in the previously rehearsed maximum intercuspal position. Evaluate the contralateral side to ensure proper closure. Use a stopwatch to ensure complete setting of the material. Remove and evaluate. Observe the impression by shining a light through it. If the bite is proper, then you'll see the light passing through the functional contact points as you can see here. For more information on the triple tree technique, be sure to check out the space below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.